Hi, I'm James, and today we are looking at the HP 15 AC152 SA laptop, and we are going to be upgrading it from 8 to 16 gigs of memory and fitting a 1 terabyte SSD. So the first thing we need to do is push this tab over and then the other and push the battery up just to release it. Um, this is partly because obviously you should remove the battery before starting, but also because we need to access two screws underneath. The next thing we are going to do is remove this screw. And with that done, we can ease out the optical drive. Now there are no additional screws under here, but there are two hidden screws under these rubber feet. So if we just peel those off and put them to one side, I believe all the screws that I'm going to be removing here are all the same size, um, but what I'm doing as I remove them, I'm just going to place them off to the side in the, uh, the basic arrangement that I've taken them out, just in case any are different sizes. So I'm just going to work around all the ones on the base here. go. So with that done we're going to turn the machine back over and then we're going to take our pry tool and we're going to go around the edge where the black plastic meets the inner palm rest and we're just going to work our way around gently releasing the base from the top palm rest. So with that done now, as far around as we can, we flip things back over and then lift the base, just gently working And oh, one additional screw there always helps if we take them. That one we had loosened, but it hasn't quite tipped. So, get that done, and the base pops off nicely like that. Now what we can see here, we have our DIMM slot here, we have a M2 wireless card here, and we have our hard drive which we are going to replace here. So what we want to do first is we have three screws left holding the hard drive in place. With those removed, we can now lift the drive, unplug the SATA cable, and then we have to remove the side rails from the drive. So these four screws, two on each side, and what I'm going to do is transplant them directly onto our SATA SSD. Uh, this is a one terabyte SanDisk uh, SSD plus drive. We'll notice it's a bit thinner than the hard drive, but because it's on these rails, that doesn't make any difference. Uh, we don't need any spaces or anything. We just can mount that straight in. 
Um, you do have the option as well, if you wanted to have a hard drive and an SSD in here, you could use a, um, a optical drive caddy. Uh, I will include links to the SSD I've used and also an optical caddy below, uh, as well as the HP service manual, which you can look at how to, if you need a sort of written step-by-step -step guide how to get into the machine. So with that rail removed, we can attach that to the SSD. And then plug our SSD back in and screw it back into place with three screws. Now adding the additional memory, dead easy, take our memory module, check the key is in the right place, press it into position and push down. So with that done, what's left to do now is if we take, I'm just going to pop that screw back out the base that was in there still, if we take our base and place that in position we now want to flip the machine back over and press around the edges to fix that back into place. With that done, all that is left now for us to do is to reinsert the optical drive and begin refitting the screws. Um, obviously you don't need me to know how to uh, show you how to put all the screws back in but obviously where we've got all of these they were all the same size in the base so they can go back in any order but I'm going to put them back as they came out. Anyway I hope you found this video useful. Um, do let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like I say I will include some links in the description to the hardware used and uh, the service manual for this machine and thanks for watching do hit like if you've helped if this has helped you upgrade your machine and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we make them